Let's talk about estimates and progress invoicing. So perhaps you have a business where you create an estimate, present it to your customer, they accept the estimate, <clears throat> and then agree to paying for the job as it is completed. So paying a part of the estimate as work is completed. This is called a progress invoice. You can also create estimates and create a 100% invoice when all the work is completed if you don't want to use progress invoicing. First, let's look at creating an estimate. So under the plus new and under customers, we're going to create estimate. The estimate form looks much like the invoice for sales receipt form, where in as much we choose a customer, <coughs> choose the date we're creating the estimate, choose the date that the estimate will expire. This may be very important in your business, so don't miss that in expiration date. <coughs> and this form has a particular field for crew, may be specific to this QuickBooks Online sample company file. You may not have that on yours. Under product service, we're going to what we will be doing for the customer. And the rate we'll be charging the customer. So let's say we're going to do this installation for $1,500. And we can save and send or save and close or print however you would like to get this estimate to your customer. For now, I'm just going to say save and close. Now we have an estimate for this customer. The day will come when we need to invoice the customer. So if we go to our customer list, click on the customer name to open up all the transactions for this customer, open up the estimate, and we can create an invoice by clicking the Create Invoice button that is now there since we saved this estimate. Now at this point, it pre-filled with the entire estimate to be billed on one invoice, which you could do save and close and be done with it. But perhaps you would prefer to just create an invoice for part of this. So I'm going to cancel this and leave without saving. So in order to create progress invoicing, the first thing you may need to check is your account and settings. So in the gear, account and settings, here we're going to click sales and then scroll down and you can see for this company progress invoicing is turned off. So I'm going to click the edit, click it to turn it on, save it, and done. Now back to the estimate. And now we have this pop-up screen that ask how much would we like to invoice. We can invoice for 50% of each line or put in a custom amount for each line. So if your agreement with your customer is that you charge a certain percentage of each line as you go, maybe 25% of the job when 25% is completed or 50% when 50% is completed, then this would work. Or perhaps your agreement is something different than that and you want to just overtype how much you're going to charge on this one. So I'm going to say $250. I'm sorry, I was clicking the wrong box. And then save and close or save and send whichever the case may be best for you. So that's how you create estimates and then turn the estimate to an invoice 
and then also how you can create a progress invoice. So back to our estimate here, create invoice, and you can see, move this screen, that we have already invoiced $250, and so now we can invoice more or the remaining. And that is creating estimates, invoices, and progress invoices.